I'm Christina Andronopoulos. And I'm Catherine Glass, Psychic Medium. We have a fantastic show again. Yes, we do. It's very oh, exciting. Tell me about your weekend first. Oh, first of all, first of all, congratulations to all the grads. So all, all the grads who are graduating, boy, what a milestone you're, you're reaching. Isn't it beautiful? Well, my son graduated from University of Rhode Island, and I'm so happy. Congratulations. It's as big a step for the mama as it is for the, the, the son. It is. <laughs> and my daughter will be graduating from high school, but that'll be another episode, okay? Because okay. Well, she <laughs> requires another episode. She's a cancer. <laughs> Enough said, right? <laughs> so. And a female. And a female, female cancer, too. So. Oh, whew. But anyway, we'll talk about that when we have the astrologer back, right? Right, right. <laughs> Chris Fisher. And also, everybody who's getting married. So many people are getting married this year. It's the season. It is. For love. It? it is. The season yes. for love. But a lot of people that I would never have expected getting married are getting married. Yep. That's great. There has to be something going on up there, right? Oh, yeah. Good things. All yeah. good things. So even if you don't expect it, you may be one of them coming forward. That's right. <laughs> or rekindling your love, whatever. Yeah. Right? Absolutely. But anyway, today we have a very special show because mm -hmm. we are going to interview Catherine ah, Glass. Yes. And it's not just me, it's Spirit Guide, and everybody's interviewing Catherine Glass. And you're going to give us information about psychics and readings mm -hmm. and your own intuition and it's going to be extremely informative yes. so i would suggest you just take a pen pencil and start writing some of these things down too absolutely that's yeah. right christina we're going to give you some great information about what's like the mechanics of a psychic reading and what's going on behind the scenes absolutely because <laughs> everybody has those questions i yep. certainly do and i've been around you for a year yeah <laughs> but also we could not do this without our sponsors, sponsors. Yeah. we have julio's liquors spirit, spirit meets spirit, spirit. <laughs> we love julio's and he's been with us since the beginning that's, that's right. great thank that's you right. so much julio's we love you julio's and he has a great radio uh, program with randall called it's the liquor talking and it's great on wcrn every saturday morning from 11 to 1. yeah we were on it once it was really fun yeah and we, we we did not drink during it. No, we didn't. <laughs> they did. They were trying to give us drinks, but we wouldn't take them anyway. And also Commerce Bank, the bank that's in our community and in Boston on on Mass Pike in Route Nine. They're they're just all over the place, and that's because it's a small community bank, but it acts as if it's a huge bank, and it is. They'll give you loans from twenty thousand to two million dollars. Wow. I know, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. And you can just do your banking too for a few hundreds of dollars too. And we're very grateful to them for sponsoring our show. Absolutely, yeah. and Healing. And Healing Essence mm -hmm. Center in West Concord, Massachusetts, a healing center for holistic modalities of healing and health and well-being. And I love getting acupuncture with Jonathan. Yeah, That's great. And also TJ Woods Insurance, thank you so much for handling all our insurance needs, all different types of life, homeowners, auto, flood, flood. Disaster. Disaster. <laughs> pet, pet insurance? We'll pet have to insurance. ask them. Yeah. yeah. All right. But thank you so much, TJ Woods Insurance. And of course, Christian Ray with the Curie Moda, who's uh, been, come to, he's joined another Hollywood hairstylist, oh Sal. My goodness. Thanks so much. All right. Well, guess what? Now we Let's begin. start our show. Okay. So, Catherine, tell us, the, everybody's been watching you, but usually you're serving as a co host, interviewing other people. Mm -hmm. So, tell us how you learned and when you had had the gift when did you learn you had the gift um i consciously knew i had the gift very young because my mother informed me i had the gift um she told me that i was answering questions about things and predicting the outcome of stories you know she would read to me i'd say i know what's going to happen on the next page of the story and i would and i would just say random things and she oh you're psychic because she came from a family that was familiar with that so there was support for it from the start it was never pushed or aggrandized it was just al allowed and acknowledged so yeah. then you got older. Then I got older and I went into theater because mm -hmm. often um, intuitive people are creative and I was a singer, dancer, actress for a long time. And then I moved into the healing arts because that was my true calling and I became um, a massage therapist and an energy healer. And that's when it really started waking up, Christina, because I would put my hands on people and um, learned how to actually tune into their auric field and read their aura, which we'll go into more as we talk right. about psychic reading. Right. Um, and it really became strong and apparent to me that this was indeed my calling and my life's work. Okay, so now today, you're co-host of a psychic paranormal TV show. You, yeah. you do your own 
professional readings as well, mm -hmm. psychic galleries and everything. Yeah. So today when someone, I mean a lot of people who know that I have the show say to me, I'm making a major change in my life and I'd love to get in touch with your co-host, Catherine. I go, sure, that's what you do. Mm -hmm. So when should somebody get in touch with you? With a psychic? Mm -hmm. um, well, some people come to me once a year, like for their birthday reading, because that's their solar return to their personal right. chart, and that's a great time to check in. Some people will come when they're really at a crossroads and they're wanting answers to difficult and important decisions like a move or a job change right. or a career change. Some people come when there's nothing happening and they're stuck and they want, they just want to connect um, with, we all know that we're connected to something beyond this. Most people have that knowledge deep inside whether right. it's sleeping or not right. is the question. And um, often coming to a, a psychic counselor or a spiritual counselor will help them to tap into that and reflect back for them and to them um, insight and intuition that they may not have access to. So that leads me to this question. So how, what do you tune into? I mean, do you dial up like 911 or something and go, can you help me here? Or, but how, what do you tune into? Um, well, to be a practicing reader and psychic, it's very important to do a lot of meditation and to be connected first to myself and mm -hmm. my center. And I don't do that during the reading. That's my, my preparatory work that I have to do on my own, not only before reading, but in my daily life. Mm -hmm. So that calms and quiets the mind so that you're able to open up to and hear information and see information. That's the clairvoyance. So there's clairvoyance, which is clear seeing, clairaudience, which is hearing, clairsentience, which is feeling, you know, that gut feeling yep. you get, um, and claircognizance, which is you just know, you right. just know stuff. So all of those um, aspects combined together are how a psychic tunes into someone. And, and when I say tunes into someone, I mean your energy field. Right. So I'm getting information when I'm reading for you that's in your auric field, already in your energy field. It's literally like a road map. But I do want to say that the energy field is always changing. Mm -hmm. So um, this is where the art of prediction can get sticky and tricky. People come in and they want to know, am I going to meet someone? When am I going to meet someone? And right. oftentimes, I will give them that information if it comes through to me. But I always couch it by telling them that you are in charge of your life. You are the co-creator of your reality. And do not give your power away to the information I'm giving you because if I say, tall blonde surfer guy is what I'm seeing right. coming into your life in the next six months and you meet short, dark, really amazing, wonderful human being, don't ignore him right. if you're looking for um, the person in your life because psychics are never 100% right 100% of the time, number right. one. Number two, we're tuning into the field at the time of the reading right. and that can change with your thoughts, your thinking. You may decide, I don't want to go to Hawaii to surf. I'm gonna, I, I'm, I decided I don't want to surf. Right. I'm going to stay home and instead you go to a party and they have a band there and you meet this great musician and he's a completely different description. Now I know that is kind of like a broad range of... of um, no, but it makes sense because you're right. It's, you're reading the energy around us. It's not like you're just pulling stuff out of the air. Right. But it's whatever energy is around you. And also your higher self or that person's higher self is ready giving me the to give you, to give to, to the to the person. Yes, and, and give you, that's where I actually hear words or I'll see or I'll know right away and it's really far out because when a reader is reading often you're, I'm not preparing what I'm going to say. Right. It's flowing. It's coming through me and the only, honestly, the only way I know after all these years, 20 some years of doing this is feedback. Right. Validation is what has told me I've been accurate and so I just go with it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like really now another question is so if we have this energy field that you can tap into, and we all have like a, a higher, most of us believe that there is a, a, high, a power greater than ourselves or mm -hmm. a higher power in whichever manner you want to believe in it, can we tune into our own? Can we get better at this? Uh, absolutely, 100%. And I, in fact, teach psychic development intuition classes and even um, developing mediumship, which is different than psychic reading because you're linking directly to spirit. Mm -hmm. um, but Yes, you can develop it, and I just have to say meditation, meditation. So start by getting a good meditation CD yep. or um, learning a meditation technique because often it's hard for the beginner meditator to just sit and shut off your mind right. and quiet the thoughts. So when you have a little bit of a, a structure or guideline, it's very helpful. And then when you start meditating, and, and then you can, get, you can learn how to listen to that inner voice or that outer voice, if you will, you know, from the other side or from um, your spirit guidance or your high self, your higher self. 
And then many times your body has a sensation because we are of the flesh. Yes. Like you'll get this, as you say, the gut feeling. It's like right in there. Or you get chills. Yeah. I mean, many times when, when I know the answer, I get chills. Or mm -hmm. somebody said something, well, that's a confirmation to me. So Absolutely. you can start picking up on your confirmations as well. That's really true. And those those physical sensations are actually energetic. They're coming from your, your energy field and your energetic connection to um, your intuition, which is part of your auric field. Right, and as, field. as you said, sometimes people who have not been used to just standing still and, and going into themselves and meditating may need to be around a group because I remember the way yes. I got into meditation was we would do group meditations. Mm -hmm. And so all of us would be able to tune in or someone was instructing us on how to do it. So really that's true. what helped me to get into it. So then I was able to take it upon myself in order to... That's very true, Christina. You know, the group energy is a collective. And when you're open and, and present, you can tune into that collective far easier than when you're on your own. That's it's really great. true. All right, so great. So. When a person is either stuck or a person needs an answer, because I know a friend of mine is making a major change. What happened is until she was able to make an appointment with you, mm -hmm. when she finally went into herself, some of the answers came to her. So from the time she came to me and said, I need a reading, I need to talk to Catherine, to the time where she had the appointment, some answers started coming to her. So yes. sometimes just sitting with yourself, those answers will come. And then she came to you for confirmation. Exactly. I was going to say, most likely, I'm not sure who you're speaking of, but most likely when she arrived for her reading, she was reflected back to her what was reflected back to her through the guidance that came through me for her hopefully validated some of those answers and right. maybe expanded upon what she was still looking to hear. You know? Right, and, and also I always hear you say that um, sometimes come prepared with questions mm -hmm. because many people get this psychic brain freeze, which you call it. It's like you're sitting there and they're, they're like psychic there amnesia. with their, <laughs> they're like they're there with the headlights in front of them. Going, <laughs> You know, no, I don't know John. Oh, no, he just used to be my father. But right. you know what I mean? Right, so because the energy is so, the energy actually shifts during a psychic reading and or a mediumship communication. Mm -hmm. the, the client and myself, you can literally feel a shift in the room and that kind of takes us into an, all I can call it is an altered state. And so that psychic amnesia you're talking about is, is kind of like deer in the headlights, like they're just, they're taking in the information in their ears, but they're also taking it in in their spirit. Sure. So they're feeling it. And many, many people aren't used to it as, as much as you are, so they don't know what to do with it. But right. this was great. We're going to do a psychic challenge. But the way people can come and see you yep. off air is uh, through katherineglass.com. Yep, www. Yep. And you set up your appointments like anybody else. And I highly recommend her. Thank you. Definitely. <laughs> we, I would not have picked her as my co-host. Yes, and check me out on my website. You can yes. read, uh, read, when you're looking for a psychic, read their testimonials. That's a really yes. great way to determine. Well, that's how you would go to a doctor or anything. Exactly. Don't do anything differently that you wouldn't do. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. That, that's such a great tip. Okay. Ooh, our psychic this is fun. tip, our psychic tip. So what we're psychic doing. Psychic challenge. I'm yeah. sorry, a psych, psychic challenge. What we do for our psychic challenge is that we have three objects here. We mm. have this, We just. I decided scarves. These are from my closet. Um, this is something's come out of my closet, believe me. But this is the red, uh, red with beautiful little Coins. bling. This is and a this beautiful. Is the animal print, my, my triple personalities. And this one is actually from Greece with the little aqua. Gorgeous. So we're, these are the three. So either the red, the animal print, or the beautiful. So you green. guys tune in to what you think. Catherine's going to pick it. I have no idea. Right. All of you, please do it. Write it down if you want. But you always say, Pick the first one. Right. This All is right. to test and develop your own intuition. So I'm going to tune in and choose one of these three items, and I want you guys to check in with yourself, and your first response that you get, go with it. Okay. Let's go. Ready? Go. Okay. Okay. All right. So write it down because you're, we're going to come back after the on-air reading. A lucky, lucky viewer is going to have an on-air reading with Catherine so you can see actually what she was talking about. In action. And... <laughs> We'll be right back. Be right back. Oh, oh. So Welcome back to Sixth Sense and Beyond. This is the segment of the show where I'm going to give um, a volunteer a psychic reading on air. And today I have the lovely Lynn. Thank you for coming on. Oh, I'm excited. Thank you. Uh, yeah, it's exciting. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to... Um, Sit with you a little bit and tune in and talk a little bit about whatever spirit wants you to know right now in your life. And certainly feel free to ask me a question if you have one. We don't have time for more than one usually. Okay. 
Okay, Lynn, I'm going to just tell you what I'm hearing. The first thing Spirit is wanting to say to you is relax. All will be well. Trust the process. I have no idea if this makes sense to you, but I'm just <laughs> going to keep going. Um, and um, you've been following your inner voice finally of late. Like the things that you've been hearing for a long time in your life are coming now into physical fruition. Do you understand that? Yes, I do. Following your gut, but, but maybe it wasn't the right time or you were not sure how to maneuver. And now, um, as of late, recently, within the last few months, seven, maybe six month period, it's been coming into manifestation. Things you haven't spoken out loud, for example, or um, phone calls you didn't make and have now made, or changes you're making in your life are concretized. Do you understand? I do. Okay, mm -hmm. so that's why Spirit is saying to you, trust the process. Um, bumpy road for a bit, been a bumpy bit, bit of road, and it may continue to be as things settle down, like a plane coming in for a landing. But after that, um, things are actually going to be very bright. But I do want to say, um, expect some really radical changes, good changes, coming uh, in, the, in the next year. Uh, 12 to 18 month period, I'm seeing lots of fast, rapid growth and change for you inside yourself, which gets expressed externally um, in terms of career, work, and relationships. Good. Does any of that make sense? It sounds good. Okay. <laughs> sounds good, yes. Um, do you have any specific questions that we can hone in on an area that you really would like to know about? Um, well, of course, every female would like to know more about their love life. Okay. Um, so and love life um, change that I tuned in mm -hmm. before when we were talking. There's been a recent change in your life, pretty dramatic one. You're leaving one relationship and moving on. And um, so there's going to be a period of, like I said, the plane landing where you're getting your ground again, getting to connect with the current you, the present you, not the you that has been in that relationship. So right. there's a transformational period happening for you. Um, there, I can tell you there are already people that are interested around you. Um, they, are, they are ready. They have got their eye on you <laughs> and they're waiting. And um, mm. it's just a matter of you deciding how much uh, integration time do you want or need before you get out there again in that world um, on a serious level. I mean, dating, yes, but on a committed serious note. Um, I do feel that there is relationship for you in the future. Um, and it's going to be a little bit of time before you find out who that particular person is the right fit for you. Um, so, do you, do you, does the name Danny mean anything to you? In spirit or mm. here or in your life? Um, I do have a nephew, Danny. I keep hearing Danny but. and I don't know what's going on with that. Is there anything particular about him? Is this your sister's mm. child or? Um, no, it's actually um, an ex-husband's brother's son. Interesting. That's the first that popped into my mind. Huh. Um, but I do, I do know um, a couple other Dannys. Okay, that, well, but that I'm was the, the first name Danny, one. So okay. put that in the back of your mind. Pay attention to it. it. Might make sense to you later. If I had more time, we could explore it. But I don't want to take the whole time figuring out who Danny, Danny is. is. Okay. <laughs> um, and in terms of your work, um, I just want to say. Spirit is saying to get ready for um, a harder work period, like more responsibility coming your way or amping up, things amping up, maybe getting broader, um, getting out there. I keep hearing hit the ground running. I'm not sure <laughs> what that means for you. Do you understand that? Um, I, I could definitely interpret that in several different ways. I going to be very busy. Mm -hmm. I don't know what your work is, if, it, if it's seasonal, but I feel mm -hmm. like it's, it's really like from now through the fall, Bam, 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 bam. Take a little downtime for yourself in the summer, at least two weeks if you can. Um, I see you needing to go by the shore or mm. by the water if you can get there. Um, are there children for you? Yes. Is there a boy? I have three. Son? Because I'm getting the son, the son, the son. Mm -hmm. The middle son? Mm -hmm. um, is there anything particular about him? or? Um, he's just finished his first year of college. Okay. Um, he and I have a very close relationship. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, he's lighting up in your auric field right now. Yes. Um, there's mm -hmm. something very special about that connection. And um, he's needing your support right now in some way. Maybe there's something internal going on with him or okay. sensitivity wise. I don't know how much he talks to you about his personal life, but you mm -hmm. did say you're very close. Um, per perhaps with a romantic thing or something going mm -hmm. on for him. Um, he's lighting up. 
around you. So check in with him. Check in. I will. To see if he's needing anything. Um, also, mm -hmm. um, I feel that your family situation, your family of origin, your parents and, and, and family life, I, I get this feeling, close and then apart, or close and then apart. Like it's it's close and sometimes not in the way you'd want it to be. Like maybe they were on top of you and then there, there was a part. Do you understand that? Yes, I do. In, out, mm -hmm. in, out, kind of there for you, but you don't really feel that they've been there for you. I'm talking from early on in your past, you know, life as a child all the way up through. Um, support is important to you and also independence is important to you. So you need to ha have your own space and be left to your own devices and don't tell me what to do. And at the same time, you don't want to be um, l left alone. And so you do mm -hmm. this dance of, of intimacy and then back off. Do you understand that? Yes, I do. <laughs> okay. So Spirit wants mm -hmm. you to know mm -hmm. that it's safe for you to explore as you go through your life journey places of vulnerability in you where you can allow yourself to receive that love and contact from people who care about you. You don't have to do it all on your own mm -hmm. because people want to be able to be received by you. To, they want you to receive their love and to feel close and connected to you because a lot of people look up to you and they mm -hmm. want to be connected to you. So just try to be more mindful perhaps mm -hmm. to, um, to allow them in a little more and not just always be off doing your own thing. Okay. You know? Absolutely. <laughs> and that's what um, we have for you today. So thank Excellent. you. Well, thank you. Thank you so much mm -hmm. for being our on-air reading. It's great to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Okay. Mm -hmm. Blessings. And we'll be right back. Welcome back. And Catherine, you know, every time I see you do an on-air reading, it's just amazed me. And that was really good information for Lynn. Yes. Thank and you. And you can all do it too. Readings at sixcentsandbeyond.com anytime. And you may be the lucky winner. But right now, Psychic Challenge, which one did you pick? The red jewel one, the animal print, or the Greek blue? Catherine? Greek blue. Greek blue. So if you picked it, <laughs> great. Remember, wa listen to your intuition. So Absolutely. We're going to close this uh, segment with some psychic tips. We love the psychic tips. Yes. And I love what you're going to talk about I'm right going to talk today about um, your language and watching and slowing down and being aware of how you speak in your life. For example, I got to go cut the grass. I have to. I should have. Just switch it to I want to. I choose to, and watch how different the energy in your life wow. manifests. It's unbelievable. I've been consciously doing this now for a few weeks, and what a difference in my energy, my attitude, my positivity, not feeling so burdened. I gotta make dinner. Right. I wanna make dinner. I'm choosing, I am consciously committing this instrument to physically carry out a task. I know it might sound a little funny, no, I love but, it. oh it's my true. God, it's really amazing. It's like saying, okay, I'd like to get in shape, but I gotta lose weight. Right. You know, that's, that's the difference. That's already like a energy. negative downer. Yeah. Oh, I don't want to be fat, and right. right away you told yourself to be fat. So there's so right. many what different you ways. you don't want. Always focus on I choose, I want, I you know. I would you, like. It's time for it's time for a doctor's appointment. Right. You know, right. I want to go to the doctor. I choose because I love myself. I care about myself. Right. I'm t I'm making this appointment for my self love and care. That's an example. So your language are vibrational frequencies. Words are vibrational frequencies and they send out little um, airwaves, antennas, to the universe and to your reality and then like a magnet you attract yeah. that. So it's a little right. different than the law of attraction but it's... Um, I call it pearls of wisdom so you either release pearls of wisdom right. or daggers of distress. <laughs> <laughs> That's great! That's a perfect example. It's pearls true. of wisdom, daggers of distress. Right. That's a beautiful key to hold in your so mind. So remember, you love watching Sixth Sense and Beyond. You love it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you... no misuse of power. <laughs> oh, no, it's not misuse. <laughs> We're just hoping you do, and we, we hope that we give you great information Absolutely. about the psychic and paranormal realm. Yes. We're so thrilled you're watching it, yes. and thank you to our sponsors, Healing Essence Center. Yes, in West Concord, yep. Julio's Liquors, Spirit Meets Meet Spirit, Spirit, and Commerce Bank, and TJ Woods Insurance, a YMCA, and everybody in Christian Thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful graduation, and a wedding, baptism, and confirmation, stay, whatever. Stay positive stay in your life. Stay and enjoy yes. all those moments. Absolutely. Thank you so much, and see you next we'll time. see you next time. Let's make a selection.